Oh, welcome. We ended up in the previous video with uh, this cream, more or less. And the thing is, it's there's still a lot of things to do on Arch Linux X Monad. We have already lots of uh, scripts that we installed, but one of my basic issues today is still that I need to set my keyboard to Belgium. That's one thing I need to remember to do. Azerti is now okay, which is important because I want to close my windows and super shift Q quits the window that I'm on, that the one that has this blue line. So here and here and here. We ran already a few scripts and we can check that because this is a new video. So let's check this uh, anyway. So he wants to know with what application do you like to open that. Moving this thing around is done with super key and then the left mouse. And I'm going to tell him, take RxVT Unicode. Okay. So that's that. Let's quickly check what we did in the previous video. If we start typing and be sure that your numeric lock is on, like so. 300, we did not run it. Wait a moment. That's the one we didn't run. 400, if we run it again, it's going to say everything already installed. Skipping, 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 which means we've done it. It's already on the system and we ran it. So 400 has been installed. That was the easiest part because that was coming from Arch repos. Basically, it says sudo pacman minus s, a lot of stuff. This one was a little bit more tricky because it was the AUR and AUR is Arch user repository and we needed to have a helper. And Arch Linux does not provide a helper. It doesn't provide any support at all for AUR. So we need to get yay or trison something in there and that's why we went to this folder in here and we have added our repo from Arco Linux so we in Arch Linux we imported uh, a key to be able to open stuff from Arch Linux and add the repo to the pacman.conf we also added a new a repo in there in etc pacman.conf in here we've added and typed uh, I don't have an application yet to open it so no problem there is nothing here available we still need to install lots of stuff but we've added arch arco underscore arco linux underscore repo underscore iso remember and that's how we got our yay and trison in okay LS, what we did we do as well? We ran 600, that's all installed, skipping, 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 which is good. And we are going to, what we did run 700, we needed uh, fonts there as well for termite and other things. So that's installed as well. And basically, there we stopped and we said, I'm gonna install the rest of the things uh, separately without video. Well, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to show you everything, but I'll put it on pause from time to time, right? So basically what we still need to run is not 100, we've discussed that, but 110 if you want to have Bluetooth, okay? Bluetooth is installed, so we have music on our uh, Bluetooth headset, for instance. We're going to install printers. So 130, it so happens, people always ask, hey, print this, print that, print this. So, yeah, just put it on the machine so it can immediately respond to the urgent demand to print something. I suppose you recognize that. Samba, well, not necessary here at all in VirtualBox, so I'm not installing it. 150, the same, 160 for laptops, no but number 200 is needed. There are lots of uh, shortcuts. This is a window tiling manager, or is it a tiling window manager, right? But it's anyway filled with keyboard shortcuts. And if you have not installed Ctrl Alt F or V, Vivaldi or, Vivaldi or Firefox or GIMP or Inkscape, all these shortcuts will not work. Ctrl Alt S, Spotify. So these things are in there. You don't need to install the package. If you are pressing Ctrl S and you don't have it installed, it did not install Spotify, nothing will happen, simple as that. But basically if things do not work, you have to think, hey, did I install 
uh, the package überhaupt. Yeah. Let's uh, wait for the installation because there's a long um, bunch of apps. So let's wait for it. Here is Firefox. Okay, it just stopped. So navigating back to my window here. This was 200 that we installed. So basically what's next is 300. And then we are going to tweak our system. All right, pausing here again. Only, okay, let's uh, continue our installation. So 300 is the last one. So basically, I guess we've installed everything. 400 is where we, let's put it back up here, like this one. So 400, 500, 600, 700, we've done. And now in this video, we've installed 200 and 300, 110, 120, 130. Okay, time to reboot, right? See what this all changes. Well, you can start typing sudo reboot or super x and then you get this nice legal leg, uh, icons, uh, logos, I wanted to say, <laughs> and then we restart. So it's best often to restart xmonad, I found it. Certainly if you are working um, to configure it, not if you just uh, well, browsing the net. Okay, let's go to the correct window here and log in. If VirtualBox doesn't know how big it is, super x log out, log back in, and this of course will never happen on a SSD, hard disk or NVMe stuff. So this is now our new system. And indeed we have variety up here. So please let's get rid of that um, wallpaper, that uh, first impression you get. And you can have, you know, wallpapers as many as you want. Here are the desktops and we have to make it even nicer, better for the tweaking. So tweaking can be done with Alt N, Alt N, Alt N. Let's take something bright like this one. Now, nah, like this one. Now, let's just choose with our wallpaper selector and choose maybe this one. Close, and that's it. Getting rid of the keyboard shortcuts once you know them, you can say, okay, Control T. Let's see if I have still, yes, still QWERTY. So KC is going to work here if, 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 if I do some stuff. So first things, maybe um, I need to have my SRT pretty soon. So opening up Super Shift Return, opening up my Tunar, going inside Control H, my Xmonad is here. That's the one we need. That's where everything happens. This is the code of Xmonad. That's what you need. And just basically this one. But this one starts a script and a script called auto start. At this point in time, I have installed script 200 and 300, which gave me all the editors. So now I can open some um, of these files here. What I need to do is to tell him, hey, forget about this QWERTY thing. Let's go to set XKB map layout Belgium. So that's something you need to figure out for yourself if you have different kind of keyboard layout. And for the rest, I usually say I don't want fee, fee here, but um, I still need to be QWERTY. Because at this point in time, I'm still, I need to be AZERTY, but I'm still QWERTY. So to uh, solve the issue, I'm going to copy paste here and hashtag and put it in front. So next time I boot, so this is going to be saved. This is my auto start SH. This is started by um, our little application here called a little very important application xmonad hs is going to open it somewhere somewhere here it is home xmonad scripts auto start so that's what is going to start up and you decide what you want to boot up maybe you would like to have uh, discord always on when you boot up or any of the other applications so control z Ah, yeah, the Z is not working either. QWERTY, the fun of QWERTY and AZERTY. 
So I'm going to log out and log back in and immediately try to see if I have Control Alt T, if I have Azerty. This makes my life easier. From now on, everything becomes more uh, useful in the sense that Super Shift Q really quits the, the window that I'm on. Like you see, Super Shift Q really stops everything. And the Q is not in A in that position. So QWERTY Azerty, that's my issue. What else? Or oh, we're doing something else and that didn't function too, but I forgot already what it was. Right, I remember again. I was going to go to the system and type update and this is what you get. Update, command not found. How about scale, my friends? Great backup scale, also a nice one. Mm -hmm. So what is going on? Again, Ctrl T is Neo Fetch installed. Then you know we are on Arch rolling. This is Arch Linux. This is not Arch Linux. So, why are you showing you me this? It means if you have the Bash RC and the Bash RC latest, and you compare these two guys with Melt, then you see there is a slight difference. This is the Arch Linux Bash RC. It's empty, right? And here we have all the rest. This is our bash RC. So basically, control A, control C, control A, delete, control V. Copy paste. We need another bash RC. Save. What we've done, if we, we've copy pasted this one to here. Actually, if we want to do a scale in the future, I think we might need to do that as well. So even though we are on Arch Linux, all the stuff is from Arco Linux is of course still coming in in scale. So we need to take a look here as well. What's inside this bash RC? It's an empty Arch Linux thing. So if you want to scale the thing all the time, then you need to delete this as well and control V here as well, if I am able to. Let's open this one. Control A, control C, control V, control save. So we're saving on a um, particular place on your hard disk that's not allowed. So we type become root and we type our password and then we can um, do that. So close without saving. Maybe, I don't know. Um, basically, we have now a new bash RC, but it's not kicked in. We can do two things. Log out, log in. Bash RC, that's the content. Super. And uh, bash RC latest, exactly the same. If we can do that, we can compare that. It's going to be exactly the same. It's very quickly done. Done. So, or you log out, or you have a command that you remember. And he asks me, hey, what do you want to open as terminal? So our XVT Unicode is one of the possibilities here. And what we can do here now is um, source the bash RC. And there you go. So we, when you log out and log in again, let's see. Everything looks nice. Things are getting tweaked. And at the in immediately you get this new fetch thing and update is going to work. Okay, there's a new update coming in from Xmonad version 18. It's installed on Scal, so it means I need to type Scal, which means my bash RC is overwritten as well, but we fixed bash RC that should be able to still have uh, a source bash RC. The new thing, the new copy paste, it should still do scale. It should still do update. It should still do PKS Y way. Let's do that one as well. And there is one update. Package query. Oh yeah. Stop. Pseudo pacman minus R package query. That's a leftover from. Yes, yeah, We don't need it. 
the heart is has died and this is an old the heart is not there but just that one okay just one left over so there you go we have now our bash rc is working we are working with as if it were with all the commands that we know like this one let's take a look at the alias mirror is that going to work mirror command not found pseudo pacman minus s reflector and that's all the pieces of the puzzle that's what i call an um, lego blocks box or lego playing with lego that's when you figure out hey that's not installed that's not at all that's building up we build already lots of stuff in but a lot of things are also on the arco linux iso so there you go this is installed as well alias so that works what another one that's not gonna work i guess is rip xpack pseudo pacman minus s if the application xpack is not installed then rip will not work this is the last thing i installed that's xpack before that reflector before that our linux x monad so this gives a nice overview of the last things you've installed alias probably youtube is not installed either now if you don't want these things you don't install them if you expect that the aliases work yeah then you should type in youtube dl installed and then of course you can start typing this wta etc and then it will work any of these guys that we need to do as well so xpack we've done that well if i missed any of them hw maybe and voila hw info command not found pseudo pacman minus s hw info ours is missing and hw there you go information about your system i'm guessing the rest is in there but like i said if i miss something then it's just writing installing a particular application and then it will work all right um, in the meantime maybe you've not noticed but in the meantime um, our icons have changed the color of the gtk theme has changed and we used to have something uh, really uh, ugly in the sense that it was a gnome a brownish icon theme so elements have changed already and there is super f11 for you super f12 for you there is alt f2 not working there's no application behind it alt f3 okay my mistake it's not that button i need to press alt f2 that's working alt f3 that's working alt and now super f11 f12 we've seen so all kind of menus are present and the most important one is the one i use of course that's the most important one super shift d so d menu is there and i like that one because yeah it was uh, my fingers know from i3 that that's the menu um yeah i wanted to go to alex appearance with you guys so this is art dark we could go to something more orangey more pinky more bluish but that's hard to recognize the difference between the blue and the other blue so let's take hibiscus dark and then an icon theme that's obviously different like the colora mandy for instance that's going to be super different and instead of the snow let's take the breeze apply and that's it okay that's one thing we need to change super shift quit Control alt m this one is not possible to tile it is is uh, does not want to do it so i do it manually Control shift t and then we have appearance here let's go for hibiscus dark here as well so this is the settings from xfce slash tunar sardi monocolor as well and here i don't change anything that's all good close 
Um, let's reboot. Super X, log out, log back in. We have a black cursor here. We have to reload polybar, it's not behaving. Super Shift R, reload, recompile. There he is again. Alt N, another wallpaper, please, not another wallpaper. Alt N, Alt N, Alt P, that was a nice one. I'm gonna kill the Conky, KC. Conky is killed. And then we are going to. Oh, I'm back in QWERTY, as you see. So, with the scale that I did, the configuration is back to the way it was. Yes. So, unfortunately, I need to go back into Xmonad scripts, how to start. Get rid of that. Atom is a nice little tool to work in. Don't want that. Yep, there we go again. Can't type that. It's somewhere hidden away. In my QWERTY. Well, that's the FTP keyboard. Logging out, logging in. And that's how we do. Well, that's how we learn it. I mean, it's, it's the only way to actually start appreciating all the complexity of these these elements everything works together but it's it takes time to figure it all out so as you see this is a blue sorry on the mandy colored gtk theme the icons have changed the mouse has changed so everything is supposed uh, is supposed to look like this and then this is a workspace one two three till ten so here we can launch spotify that's what I do. For me, number 10 is Spotify and I keep off from it. Number eight, it could be your file manager. And number seven is mostly Super 7, my virtual box. So I'm launching virtual box in my virtual box. Uh, okay, so fine, even that works. And then we have here VLC that we could launch. Okay, continue, VLC is launched. Here we launch Super F5, melt. And you see the colors even changed here. So basically Super F3, everything just kicks in. Remember this is a virtual box machine. It loads up GIMP and Inkscape and all that very easily and very fast. I'm very glad that GIMP finally put their bars here in one image. That's much better. So cancel, I just wanted to quit here. Super Shift Q, quit this application. So all the uh, theming and tweaking, I guess I'm done. And we're probably, you're probably going to find stuff that still needs to be fixing, but that's the point of Arch Linux is learning, reading the Arch Wiki. You have an, 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 an ISO that you can compare with. You have Arch Linux B X Monad, you have Arch Linux D X Monad. I mean, and then working up, working your way back up, building it back up again, I think that would be a super challenge. It's not gonna be easy. You see me struggle with it as well. Uh, all these keyboards and all that, maybe that's not your issue. There'll be other um, challenges, but I think it can be a rewarding challenge. All right, enjoy.